open ai has enabled chat gpt with web browsing that means chat gpt has the knowledge and power of internet if you have not used it ever before if you are a chat gpt plus subscriber that means you have access to gpt4 the way you can enable that is click the three dots here and then go to the settings once you go to the settings you will see something called beta features and inside beta features you will see browse with bing if you do not have this enabled if i create a new chart if i click gpt4 you would not see anything here so i'll go back settings and beta beta features browse with bing once i enable this you can close this come back to my gpt4 and you can see browse with bing beta so right now this is going to be available only for the chat gpt plus users but OpenAI has said that it will be available for everybody else. I tried to test it out and I like it, but I still prefer BART, Google BART more than this for anything that has, uh, that requires internet. The first question that I tried is who won the most recent India versus Australia match and who was the man of the match? It answered correctly. It said Australia won the most recent match against India by 66 runs with Glenn Maxwell being awarded the man of the match. But the same question that I tried a few hours after the match finished, even though the information was available on the internet, at that time, that GPT couldn't find out that information, which was kind of shocking for me. Bing could find it out when you go to Bing search, but ChatGPT, Bing could not find it out within ChatGPT. I asked the same question with Google Bart, uh, correctly gave me the answer, and it in fact gave me extra answer. It also told me when did this happen. So very well and good, very similar. The next thing I asked, can you give me a list of videos that talk about Samsung Z Flip 5's battery life? It found me one video and it said it might discuss battery life and it did not give me additional videos. In fact, it gave me an uh, idea how to get more by giving the keywords. But on the other hand, when I asked the same question to Bart, can you give me a list of videos that talk about Samsung Z Flip 5's battery life? It gave me a list of videos that definitely talks about battery life. But also the title has battery life, battery life. And in this case, the title does not have battery life, but still it gave me this video. And you can see the other videos that has battery life. So it was kind of uh, interesting to see how Google Bard has managed to give me the link here while the chat GPT with Bing browsing could not give me. In fact, it exactly gave me five videos. One, two, three, four, five. So it exactly responded to what I asked, but Bing, sorry, chat GPT with Bing could not do it. The next one I asked is what was the latest title of MK based video. It said I was unable to fetch and also Google Bard did not do it. I asked what was the latest title of MK based video. It said I'm sorry I cannot answer the question about YouTube right now. So maybe they've got some restrictions about YouTube and I was not very sure. This is part of the recent extension that they enabled but still YouTube is not available. Well and good. The next question that I asked is is Claude available for users in India? I very well know. Even just before recording this video, I checked it. Claude is available only in the UK and US. And ChatGPT very well answered that Claude is not available in India. It's limited in UK and US and also gave me a workaround, which the Bing also did the same thing. So I asked the same question and it said Indian users can access Claude by signing up by using a VPN and also said like you can wait, you can wait for it. So I'm going to now ask another question. Can you give me a summary of the sorted llama paper i'm going to ask the same question and uh, let's see what happens i'm going to go here paste the same thing so can you give me a summary of the sorted llama paper so this is the paper that i'm expecting it to look up and then give me a summary so this is the paper that i have in mind but let's see what it does so let me go back to chat gpt and it said i encountered an error when looking for or you can read the sorted llama paper here. So it gave me a link. Let me click the link and go there and let's just check if it is sorted llama. Because previously ChatGPT used to make up URLs. But right now at least like it should ideally come from Bing. Meanwhile, if we go to Bard, you can see it says it completely, <laughs> it completely makes up stuff. It says sorted llama is a paper, uh, 2022 paper by researchers Google um, from Google. Is it from Google? It's not from Google at all. In fact, I don't know if there was any other sorted llama, um, but Bing, the chat GPT with Bing gave me the right link, the archive link, while Bard has kind of started uh, creating a lot of hallucinations here, as you can see here. So it says sorted llama is a promising new approach to training language models. And um, 
yeah uh, i think most of it is just complete nonsense like if you see here it is all uh, it is all complete hallucination there is nothing useful in this this is like if i ask an mba to write a technical paper how it would look this is exactly like that so overall in my testing i find this useful i find this useful uh, especially you know when i need something but a lot of things don't seem to be enabled at this point like for example i would have uh, liked the summary of the paper i would have liked it to find you know certain youtube videos like the places where i don't want to use google the places where i don't want to use a search engine or things where you know it has to go one level beyond that like for example like this question who won the most recent match i can go to espn quick info and find this information but i would like this large language model to do the job for me so right now i feel like B chat gpt with bing is like the almost like the first level where you can just extra add that knowledge that you have in the internet that's probably like almost close to real time not necessarily real time because as we saw that these have to create the knowledge like uh, it has to index the knowledge but other than that it's a very handy feature to have if you have a chat gpt plus subscription enable it and use it but if you do not have chat gpt plus please do not worry google bard is there you have got perplexity you have got hugging face chat a lot of other places where internet is enabled with the large language model i hope this was helpful to you see you in another video happy prompting